Dental caries is a common childhood disease. According to the National Institutes of Health, 28% of two to five-year-old children have dental caries, also called tooth decay. Luckily, good oral hygiene can prevent dental problems. We have important information that will go a long way towards brightening those little smiles. I like um, those styles with beans and cheese, and I like chopped ramen, and um, I like macaroni and cheese. Well, I like carrots for now, and corn and potatoes and peas. Brisa Maldonado is a talkative, fun-loving little girl who knows what she likes. She's a very active and outgoing child. And like many other young children, she also has a sweet tooth. She loves sweets and it's hard for her to, to resist them sometimes, but we really have to keep an eye on, on that. That's a good idea, as tooth decay remains the most common chronic disease of U.S. children aged 6 to 11 years old. Dr. Treva Diane Lee, a general family dentist in Fresno, says to prevent dental caries, watch out for the sweet stuff as well as acidic foods. The notorious number one thing with kids is usually sodas. Um, the second thing is we see a lot of acids in the sports drinks. And then lastly, of course, if they eat a lot of sugar, high sugared um, food items like candy, sweets, um, you know, donuts, things like that. I take care of her during the week. And so um, usually when she comes home, I feed her some soup or a turkey sandwich or a tostada or wh whatever that we're cooking. And if it's something she doesn't like, I try to um, make something that she will eat but keeping in mind that's got to be nutritious. I try to do that, and her parents try to do that too. And it's important to make sure your child goes to the dentist. Research shows one in three children ages two to five has never seen a dentist. One in four elementary school children in California has untreated tooth decay. Visiting the dentist early can have numerous benefits and save you many head and toothaches later on. Of course, it's also important that you help your child develop good oral hygiene habits. Well, we try to remind her to brush and floss every day in the morning and at night. Dr. Lee recommends that you brush at least twice a day before you go to bed and after you eat breakfast. Now, a lot of people, the kids will get up in the morning, brush their teeth right away, and then they go eat something. So now they've got the rest of the day where all the food's hanging out and the bacteria are going to town and really using that and making the acids. It may seem like a long time, but have your child brush for two to three minutes. And the other thing I do with my kids is I will hand out like little timers, like little egg timers. Those are usually about three minutes. According to the American Dental Association, children should be able to brush on their own by age seven. Before that time, an adult should help them out. Because especially with the younger kids, they don't have the coordination. They'll sit there and brush on the front. And I've had my own kids come up and run up to me and I'll say, did you brush your teeth? And they go, ah. well, you know, because they've got the, the mini fresh breath from the toothpaste, but they missed all these teeth in the back. So that's where, as a parent, you need to actually get the toothbrush and go in their mouth and actually help them brush their teeth. Fluoride is important for the prevention of cavities and strengthening the teeth. It is added to a small number of water wells here in the valley. Once you take your child to the dentist, you can get a prescription for fluoride. Because a lot of times the kids are more willing to at least rinse, even if they're not quite brushing and all and getting all those areas. And the prescription strength are stronger. The over-the-counter ones, a lot of them will say they have fluoride, but it's just not strong enough to do really the job that really helps fight off and prevent those acid attacks on the teeth. Visiting the dentist early can have numerous benefits and save you many head and toothaches later on. We're again checking not only for cavities, but again how their growth and development of their jaws is. And a lot of it's for education of the parent and the child. And then the child starts to get an idea of like, okay, it's not a big deal. This is a routine thing. And so if they do have a problem later on, it makes it way easier to try to treat them. Brisa has been going in for dental appointments for some time now. She isn't nervous about seeing the dentist. I feel kind of happy because 
he makes me, from his glove, he makes me a balloon and makes a face out of it, and it's kind of fun. <laughs> While some people may think baby teeth are not important and will be replaced later on, Dr. Lee says, think again. The other thing is the baby teeth are, people don't realize it, but they're the ones that are holding the place for the adult teeth to come in. Um, the other thing is they're the ones that the kids learn to chew and speak. There's just simply certain words or um, uh, what we call phonetics, that they cannot form if they don't have those teeth in place. So if they're just learning, those lip muscles and those tongue muscles don't learn how to make the correct sounds then. So remember, an apple a day keeps the doctor and the dentist away. Well, my fruits are like, I like pineapples, peaches, oranges, apples, bananas and grapes, um, uh, pomegranate, pomegranates and raspberries and I don't like pears and blueberries. If you would like to know more about oral hygiene for kids, log on to the 0 to 5 and 30 minutes website. Just go to kvpt.org and click on 0 to 5 and 30 minutes. To contact Fresno dentist Dr. Treva Lee, call 226-3010. This program funded in part by First Five Fresno County. At First Five, we focus on the first five years of life. We fund programs and services that better the lives of children in Fresno County. Additional funding from First Five Tulare County. Changing lives and building futures. Because it's all about the kids. And First Five Madera County strengthening communities through the Family Resource Centers, where it's all about the kids.